Greetings, Tommy Underhill, Littleton Couples Counseling ADHD and Autism Specialist here. Today I'd like to speak to you about shame and the drastic effect of not having friends. Subscribe, like the video, keep coming back to what we've got going on, more coming back all the time. Many, many years ago, when our society was much less reliant on cell phones and our world was much, much larger place, our immediate community played a significantly greater role in our lives. Community defined our safety and ability to survive. Community provided food and shelter. Ostracization from community was often a death sentence. This extragenic societal memory is deeply ingrained in each of us. One of our certified sex therapists, Chris Wilhoit, tells patients that shame is the community telling you that you are bad. Similarly, Michael Elkin, LMFT, defines shame as the external witnessing of your badness. Shame activates a biophysiological response that triggers a dorsal vagal response that can completely shut us down. Mammals have both a dorsal vagal and a ventral vagal nerve system. Fish only have the dorsal vagal nerve. In the presence of shame, our physiological response becomes like a fish. When we experience shame, we feel our safety within our community is threatened. Essentially, we become fish out of water and our entire existence is on the line. How do we deal with shame? For most people, they manifest their solution to shame with pain and anxiety and depression, all of which are manifestations of physical sensations. Community is so fundamental to survival that evolution has shaped us to where physical and emotional pain is less damaging and detrimental to our future than shame. To survive in the community, we blanket our shame with painful covers, physical expressions of these covers. What is the antidote to shame? Love, connection, acceptance, friends. Community is composed of friends. Shame threatens community. No community equals the potential of not surviving. A lack of friends threatens our survival. So how do we make friends? That's a story for another time. We'll see you back soon.